Welcome to Asbury Hall Golf Club. I'm Andy Proudman. I'm Piers Ward. And in this video, we're going to be answering your questions on how to retain more lag in your golf swing. You're watching Me and My Golf TV. So we've been asked a lot of questions through Facebook, YouTube and Twitter about uh, early release. So losing that angle early in the downswing, you know, losing power. And people have been asking us, and the contact obviously goes bad. People have been asking us, oh, how do we fix that? Have we got any drills to fix that? And we, as you can tell by our channel, we've got lots of drills that can do that. But I think it's really important that you perhaps understand what causes this in the majority of cases. So, Andy, if you can just take your setup and just front onto the camera, if yep. you could. Now, obviously, as we set up, we've got the club face pointing towards the target. And as we swing back, we're then going to have to square that club face up as we get down to the golf ball. Now, that would be Andy's normal setup position. When he strikes the golf ball, if you can just go into impact position for me, you'll notice that the shaft is leaning downwards. He's turning his hips and he's putting his weight into his left side. That's where we want to strike a golf ball from. Now, the problem with the early releases and the, the scooping, as you've been calling in the, in the questions, is that club does not get back into that position. So if you can just show us that, Andy, shows us a scoop position. A scoop position sort of an impact, yeah? Okay, so you'll notice that the shaft is not leaning downwards. Perhaps the weight isn't quite transferring, but for whatever reason, that shaft is not hitting down on the golf ball now. So what generally happens, the angles that are created in the backswing are lost a little bit early here. Now, one of the biggest reasons for this is the club face being in a poor position as far as alignment is concerned throughout the swing. So not being in a square position. So Andy, what do we see normally when someone has got this early release? With their club yeah, face it's, it's, as you said, Pierce, we get a lot of questions. People saying, how can I create more lag or fix this early release problem? And, and like we say, the face is the key thing, and generally, the early release, it's trying to square that face up. It's, it's you know, people want to sort of hit that golf ball, and obviously don't want it to go right. So, the open face is probably the biggest thing that we yeah. see all the time, which is leading to this early release and, and poor lag, really. So, an open club face throughout the swing, whether it be at setter or anywhere through the back swing and down swing, you're now going to have to recover that, and as, we, as Andy just said there, the way to recover it is by getting that club and flicking it in early. That's going to help square the face up. So if Andy, if you actually just go into a setup form, let's just demonstrate that. If we can get a very open club face at setup, okay? Now if Andy were then to swing to the top of his backswing, and we're going to get Andy to do a good downswing now. He's going to do everything that you would do normally. He's going to hit down on the ball. Look at that club face. It is going... 80 yards right. Now, the majority of people would miss the golf ball from there. You can shank it from there. So if ever you've tried any videos or any drills on stopping that early release and you've been getting some shanks out to the right or some big slices, it's probably because the club face is open. So what you need to do is to check to see where your club face is at the moment. Do it on video or, you know, even if you were just to swing to the top of your backswing, you know, we can give you some checkpoints. We'll do that in a moment. But you need to make sure that your club face is in a square position before you attempt to correct that early release and that, that scooping shot. So what we'll do, let's show the viewers if we can, Andy, if you can just flip around as though you're going to hit a shot down yeah, to the 18th no here at Asprey. Now, if you can actually swing back for me and give me an open club face. At the top of the swing. Top of the backswing. So this is a great place. You, and you can spot this when you're, if your partner, your... Your, your, your playing partner is playing with you, that they can actually spot this because the club actually stops at the top, obviously. Now, from here, you'll notice the leading edge of the golf club, oh, I won't hold them there too much longer, the leading edge of the golf club is pointing very much downward. Okay, relax there for me, Andy, and go back up again for me if you could. That would be an open club face, okay, with that leading edge down there. Now, if we can get that club face into this position where the leading edge is parallel to his lead arm, his left forearm, he is now going to be able to start that downswing efficiently, hold on to that lag, and square the face up when he gets down to the golf ball. As we said, with that open club face at the top, you're going to have real difficulties in squaring that club face up. There's very few great golfers can do that. There's, there's not many. There's, there's not many. There's not Eddie many. Else I mean, being one of them, I would say. You know, yeah, and there's a, a, I mean, Marcel Seam is another sort of, mm. you know, extreme one, I suppose, where his club face is very open. But the easiest way to square the club face yeah. with an open face is to sort of get this early release and yeah, yeah. it works you can hit it straight yeah. but you're sacrificing power you're sacrificing contact and it, and it must makes a big difference absolutely just, just going back to marcel seam and ernie Els, they're unbelievably strong and unbelievably fast with their hands so Definitely. they know how to do this and they've probably been doing it since the age of three or four uh, so they found they, a way they found a way of doing it okay 
Okay. So guys, all we say to you is make sure if you are struggling with that fall to the early release, you must make sure that your club face is square Number before one. you attempt Number one those changes. Hope you enjoyed the video. Post your comments as normal and we look forward to seeing you soon on Me and My Golf TV.